Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to build a locked personal diary app. So let's continue. Before that, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please click the subscribe button and enable the bell icon. Then you will be notified when new content uploaded. To drag a vertical arrangement for viewing the diary, we want to add two labels for heading and the content and a back button. Let's clear the text of the label. It's for the content. So we want to increase the width. Let's set it to parent. Okay. This label for the title. So we want to make it some bigger. So I'm increasing the font size to 16. Okay, now let's add a button to close this vertical arrangement. Let's give it some properties. Let me show you. Okay, now let's hide this vertical arrangement because we want to show the password vertical arrangement when the screen initialize. Okay, now let's hide this. Sorry, this is not. Yes, okay, but there's a problem. We want to hide that vertical arrangement in the above. Let's find it. Yeah, it's okay. We want two tiny DB storage component and a cloud DB storage component. Let's drag these items. Okay, now let's start coding. First, we want to initialize a variable named password. Okay, now let's add a screen initializing event. And we want to set the screen title visible to false. So let's drag this and set it to false. Okay. Now we want to initialize another variable named recent we want to give it an initializing value empty list okay now let's initialize a variable named pass underscore set inside this screen initialize block we want to set this pass set variable to call the tiny db2 so let's drag tiny db2 Call get value and no set the if tag is not there value to no and the tag name to ps remember that we are using capital letter p and s because the tag is case sensitive let's set the vertical arrangement 5 visible to false because we want to hide this item when the screen is initialized and if an if statement sorry we want an if else statement we want to check if the pass set is equal to no that means if the tag is not there we want to show the vertical arrangement one so drag the vertical arrangement visible to set it to true Okay, and the vertical arrangement for visible to false. So let's drag the vertical arrangement for and set it to false. And the in the else statement, we want to do this in opposite. So let's drag these two items visibility and set the vertical arrangement for visible to true and vertical arrangement one visible to false. Okay, now let's add a button one click event. 
we want to call the tiny db one to store value give it the tag pass new password underscore new okay now let's store the password box one text as the value of the tag okay now let's set the pass set variable value to done okay now let's store the value done uh, to the tag ps of the tiny db2 in this tag we are confirming that the password is already set now let's track the button to click event when button to click we want to set the global password set variable to before that we want to call the tinydb so let's call tinydb1 call the tag pass underscore new now we want a if statement that checks if the password text box to text is equal to this global password if true set vertical arrangement 5 visible to true and vertical arrangement 4 visible to false set the screen title visible to true so let's set screen title visible to set to true so we want an if else statement because this is a password confirmation block so let's add the if else statement now let's add our content to it and if the password is not is equal to our password we want to notify them so let's drag the notifier and call notifier show message set message to first we want to set the title to a uh, dairy app okay I will set the message to wrong password okay now let's the text of the button to okay done let's drag the block to here we want to set the recent variable to recent items so let's call the cloud db set the tag to names because we want the names of the dairies Set the vertical arrangement 7 visible to false. Now drag a cloud db got value event. Set the recent items to get value. Okay, now let's set the list picker elements to get this variable, the variable recent. So get variable recent. Now drag the button 3 click event. The button 3 is for the new items. So let's set the visible of the date picker to true. Set the date picker visible to false when the screen initialize. Now drag the event date picker after selection. Set the vertical arrangement 5 visible to false. Okay, that's it. Let's wind up today.